That was the word of the day for sure. Now, unlike the Fed, state lawmakers have to pass a balanced budget, and they use the numbers they get out of these forecasters to work with. Today, they found out they have about a $3 billion shortfall to make up for over the next three years. These meetings are not usually heated, but like most things, it was different in 2020. First, the good news for budget writers. Real estate sales and the taxes they generate remain strong. Optimism and retail sales have steadily risen since the start of the pandemic. And while pot sales have slowed from their record-setting spring, they're still bringing in hundreds of millions of dollars in taxes. The bad news? With restaurants going takeout only again and COVID cases rising at record rates, the state's top budget forecaster says there's lots of uncertainty out there. People will pull back. They won't feel comfortable, you know, shopping or doing other things. Um, with or without restrictions, and it's difficult for us to know exactly the magnitude of those sorts of changes. It's just a risky environment. Governor Jay Inslee says $50 million is on the way for those impacted by his new restrictions, but he's resisted calling lawmakers back to Olympia ahead of their regularly scheduled session in January to offer more help or to adjust the budget. Democratic Senator Christine Rolfes supported calls for a special session earlier this year, but says now is too late. And she and other Democrats hope the federal government will help solve some of the state's potential budget problems. We fully anticipate uh, our partners in the federal government realizing that across this country, uh, there are struggling businesses, there are struggling families, uh, and there are upside down economies. And this is the role of the federal government. Why aren't we thankful for the help we've gotten and get off our hands and do something about our situation instead of relying on hope? That's a clearly frustrated Senator John Braun, who said because of the good news today, he hopes they don't have to talk about raising taxes. But his Democratic counterpart said all taxes need to be on the table, especially because of all the uncertainties. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.